Hey, John. Uh, so GPS frequencies, they start at uh, 869.2 uh, megahertz. And um, they have a bound, uh, each band has uh, 200 kilohertz bandwidth. So this is a downlink at that's centered around um, 869.4. Now, uh, with, um, with this GSM signal, if you look at this website, um, there's a frequency or a sine wave every once in a while, I think every uh, 10 TDMA frames. Um, and that frequency should be 67.708.3 hertz away from the center frequency. So it was supposed to be at 869.467. Um, now, if I actually, uh, what's interesting is, so obviously there's, there's some shift that's happening here. And if I tune in to this frequency, if I zoom in, then once in a while, you need to make sure that you have the rate to be pretty high. And also you can, um, you can have the size to be big. And what you can see is that the frequency shows up. And you can actually hear it. The, 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 the clicking um, of the, of the TDMA packets. And so this one is allocated at 469.428 instead of 467. So if you calculate what is the BPM shift, uh, 869.428, 7, and then um, minus... Eight sixty nine point six um, four six seven seven zero eight seven zero eight. Then, um, that's right, divided by. Eight sixty nine point four two eight seven times four. So it's minus forty four point, I guess minus forty five uh, ppm. Forty four point eight. So if I go to here, and I do um, forty four point eight. Yes, you can only calculate this uh, ppm. Then, see what happens. Now, we're going to bid the right frequency. First of all, the center is at um, yeah. Looks like the center is around um, 869.42, which kind of makes sense. And now. I look at the frequency. Yep. So now it's calibrated. So if I go to other frequencies, for example, um, let's say I want to look at NOAA. So NOAA in my area is 162.425, which is exactly. And if I remove the PPM shift, it will be off. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, take care.